Hey Taurus, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for the end of April. <laughs> I had to think about what I was doing. April, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into your weekly reading. It's going to look just a little bit different this week. Um, we're going to get a message from Spirit and we're going to take a look at past, present, and future energy as we move into May. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get your messages out from your spirit team. What's the overall message here for Taurus? Overall message here for Taurus. And if I don't see you guys before, well, I will see you. <laughs> I just want to say happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday <laughs> to you. So we're going to start off with you, okay? At least until May 20th. Then we'll move into um, Gemini's energy. Okay. So we got Taurus energy right now. All of my beautiful Taurus. What message do you have for Taurus here, Spirit? What would you like them to be aware of? Thank you. So Taurus. Okay. Cracker cracker like the nutcracker is that what it is possibly positive energy surrounds you love joy and good fortune awaits it almost looks like a christmas tree like it's festive so i'm feeling like something may happen and that's a long ways away christmas <laughs> okay but something significant may happen around november uh december for you here okay december january somewhere around there um, but positive en energy surrounds you here this month, okay, Taurus? Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Oh, darn it. Look at that, okay? A uh, proposal, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated here for you. So things might um, <laughs> get a little spicy for you guys around the holiday time okay and i feel like it's more around christmas that's what this energy feels like okay um because it's saying good fortune awaits you so i feel like something significant um and i know it feels like oh my god that's so far away but hold your horses is coming right some lovers coming that's what i feel some lover may come in, you may meet them, or things start to get really serious with this person. You may get even a surprise proposal or someone indicating, okay, to you that uh, they, they're they ready for marriage. They're ready to settle down. You are the one for them. Let's take a look at your energy now, though, okay? Um, we're going to take a look at the, not, uh, the recent past, okay, first. Just gonna shuffle that deck and shuffle this one as well. What's going on for Taurus? Past, present, and future energy. Sorry, y'all. See if we can get your cards right. Past, present, and future energy here for. Okay, thank you. Effort. It's going to be put in either on your part or someone else's. You have the number 13 coming in here. I believe that's a death card. Um, and the major arcana. So I'm not feeling like endings. I'm feeling like new beginnings. Like uh, that's what the energy, uh, what pops out to me here. Okay. So spirit um, is letting me know that new beginnings and absolute change in um I feel good energy, positive energy, like your card is saying here, okay, is moving in towards you. Even before Christmas, you guys, like right now, you may meet someone or have someone on your mind here. That a new beginning will start with. It does feel like love. Okay? After a long wait, <laughs> there's going to be real love, okay? It's like a gift here. Spirit is like, here you go. <laughs> enjoy this all right 
you have the number 22 here and the card is saying intuition so you have the number the number 22 in the color orange here that is in the chakra energy the sacral chakra here so i feel like this person will fulfill your desires possibly your every desires okay mental physical emotional spiritual um this person is going to be the all-around package yeah. okay future this is the present energy that i am seeing here okay all right And your future energy coming in Taurus is surrender. So they want you to surrender to change here um, in the future. I feel like they're also letting me know that they want you to allow this new person to enter into your life and don't hold back. Don't um, be confident. Uh, confidently accept this new offer or this new opportunity that's moving in towards you here okay um and prepare yourself for this new energy with this red this is a base chakra energy uh that's coming in here okay so surrender to change that's what i feel like they're saying okay and then you have the number 10 on there as well endings and new beginnings yes so what's going on in the past energy here recent past what was Taurus experiencing what would you like them to be aware of or to release oh okay possibly someone that you were dealing with fire sign um Aries Leo Sagittarius okay queen of wands energy in reverse this person was a biatch <laughs> okay <clears throat> I don't care what gender they were okay this queen just gives me a little it tells me that it's feminine energy that's here uh, possibly someone that uh was holding back possibly okay that's the energy that's coming out um or this person was very mean-spirited or competitive or uh dominant very dominant and controlling and not in a good way not as a leader or as a partner okay you were dealing with someone someone that was uh competing against you okay or felt like they needed to compete against you here things was not good look all your cards came out in reverse justice card uh, in the reverse position here so you felt like there was a, a a real battle with this individual here okay like you were putting forth um good effort possibly here towards you were trying to um have a good relationship or connection with this individual and uh it was more like they were fighting against you then fighting with you here okay it was uh i feel like with the justice card in reverse it was something that was very overwhelming a feeling that you had around this person that was very overwhelming some of you guys did not trust this person you felt like they were quite deceptive um or just straight liars okay like you could not believe what this person was saying possibly because their actions were showing you something different here okay this person that you were dealing with uh, may have gone through a lot of trauma in their life um, that made them this way with the uh, moon card coming in reverse here. I know you guys can't see that very much. Let me put it up here. Just looking at the camera. So you have the ten of wands coming in the reverse position here. Uh, I feel like you definitely let yourself go. Um or released yourself from a situation and decided to make new plans for yourself or move forward or move on from a situation or a person here. That's what I am getting, okay? So in your present energy, what are you doing here, Taurus? Let's see. What's the present energy here for my Taurus in this sacral chakra energy? Spirit wants you to take care of yourself, love on yourself, <laughs> um, and start to smile more, okay? Feel good about yourself, yes. Take care of yourself. As I'm saying that, the temperance card comes out. They're like, yes, take a spa day. Take a day for yourself here, okay? Do something fun for yourself. Go out and do something um, that makes you feel good. Enjoy the simple um pleasures of life okay whether that is just taking a stroll down the street um 
I said a stroll down the street. Take a walk, get on a train, go somewhere in nature, find you a patch of grass and, and, and get you a blanket out and sit down and just enjoy the birds chirping and the bugs bothering you. <laughs> okay, with this temperance card here. Okay. Uh, I, I definitely feel like spirit is wanting you to connect back with nature since you have uh, the temperance sitting right under the intuition card here, okay? Because I feel like your spirit guides want to get in touch with you again. Possibly this this connection here really um, got you out of touch with your higher self here. It puts you in another vibration, another energy where you could not uh, commit to yourself or connect with your spirit guides. Um, or the divine here, okay? Possibly because you were battling this person here, okay? Or it felt like a battle to you, okay? What else is going on in the present moment here? For Taurus, thank you. Okay. Woo! <laughs> present moment here, Taurus. So you have the Six of Cups energy that's coming out. And you also have the Page of Pentacles energy that's coming in here. Okay, there may be a love offer coming in towards you in the present moment, like I said, okay, a proposal or a romantic person that's moving in towards you. I feel like this person uh, wants to go slow with you. They will be, um, they'll have that energy where they want to um, not rush, okay. They, they won't try to attempt to uh, control you or control the flow of the relationship. It feels like they will want to go with the flow. That's what the Page of Pentacles is making me feel like, okay. Um, but I'm telling you to get to know this person here. For some of you, this is someone that you may already know, possibly someone from your past or someone that you knew in the past with the Six of Cups energy uh, that's flowing in here, okay. So this person may know of you. They know your character a little bit. They know how you are, okay. But they, I feel like this person may be very uh, patient with you. <laughs> they also have a, a spark of... Uh, sexual energy around them surrounding them as well that's what I'm feeling as I'm looking down at this page of pentacles as well like they want to uh, be on a very it's so soft though <laughs> like um, a very soft intimate type of uh, sexual energy not like the wands okay where it's really fiery here so it's a gentle approach towards uh, moving into a connection with you or offering you love, wanting to connect with you. It feels very sweet for some reason. I know this is not the Page of Cups. It's the Page of Pentacles, but I feel like uh, with the Earth energy, it's more thoughtful here, okay? This person is more down to Earth here, all right? So expect that offer to come in. Um, we'll see what's going on in the future for you. Spirit is saying surrender. What would you like Taurus to surrender to? They're saying surrender to the possibilities. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Wake up call. They're like surrender to the possibilities and let go of things that don't serve you that you should not be around anymore with the tower card energy that's coming in here. It's like let those old things go. Let those old people go. The old inner energy vibration, the feelings that you may have had towards someone. Okay, don't seek uh, revenge in any type of way. Just let things go. Okay. Feel like someone or something was meant to be on this part of your journey here okay what else is going on for we're going to clarify this too taurus what else is going on for taurus thank you yeah okay you got the six of swords i feel like it's just a change of mind some of you guys may be uh going through a physical change too like changing your location where you live um as well with the six of swords energy that's coming in um i feel like you're just wanting to move into a more peaceful uh situation here so they're saying surrender to peace okay surrender to change <laughs> right surrender to change okay yeah, why are you telling them that? Because you have the Seven of Cups energy here, okay? So you're going to have a lot of options here in the future energy. Uh, but Spirit wants to connect with you. Your 
uh, spirit team wants to connect with you because you're going to have a lot of options here with the seven of cups energy coming in some of them good some of them not so good <laughs> okay and they they don't want you to um be caught like a deer in the headlights okay and just be stuck like which way did i go which what what do i pick okay i'm saying that because with the seven of cups sometimes we have the tendency of just being still and not moving and making a choice and when we don't make a choice in regards to our life whether to uh find peace or move on from a situation we actually have made a choice we made a choice to stay in our situation to stay um bound or connected to something that is unhealthy for us so spirit wants you to connect um on a healthy way okay to your spirit team uh, a peaceful way um in order to find direction or um i feel like they want to give you direction that's what it feels like here so you have a lot of options in in the future in regards to love um money um opportunities this could be in any form it could be involving your job it can be involving love or uh some a project or something you're working on yourself or a big decision that you have to make here okay so i feel like they definitely are around to support you let's go ahead and clarify this y'all I'm saying business and stuff like that because look at the proposal. Like when you go um, fill out applications or you accept a job, what do you do? You sign paperwork, right? So a romantic partner or business opportunity is indicated, okay? You commit yourself to something here, okay? Some things will be good. Some things will not be so good for you here, okay? So to avoid any of these unnecessary tower moments, Spirit wants you to connect, uh, really uh, connect with your team, okay? Connect with your higher self to make the, the right decisions for yourself here, okay? To avoid any unnecessary dilemmas, drama, okay? Yes. Woo! Let's see what we got coming in here. And your past energy here, Taurus, you have separation here. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So someone still may have feelings for you. They still may be thinking about you. Um, this is what I'm seeing here, especially with the Ten of Wands here in reverse. The Moon card and the Justice card here in reverse. Even though this person was quite crappy to you, okay, um, I feel like they were possibly just using your energy to feel their own here. Uh, this person still misses you, whoever this is, lover, friend, family member here, okay? But you decided to make a different decision here. In regards to your life, you decided to walk away from something that was unhealthy and possibly toxic for you, toxic relationship or connection, and decided to move into um, a healthier state of mind and being here, okay? Your card is saying healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. That's what you wanted, that's what you needed, and that's what you went for here, okay? Some of you guys thought if this was a partner for you, you thought that this was the one here in the beginning of the connection. Okay, you may have been engaged to this person or thought about having a long-term relationship or being with them long-term here. Okay, but of course, it's saying some separation has happened or will happen here. Okay, there may be some hurt. You're, you may be hurt from this. Okay, um, there may be some regret that you spent time trying to support someone that clearly did not support you but spirit is saying don't focus on uh what you have lost or what has left you here that was just a learning experience here in life and in love here okay so heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation break up feeling lost grieving mourning here okay that could be both of you guys that are experiencing this right now at this moment okay Let's go ahead and clarify the current energy and the future energy. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Okay, Cupid's arrow. Like I said, you will have someone come in, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that I'm seeing here. Your card is saying, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, and hesitation here. Some of you guys will be hesitant to get into a relationship or accept someone's um, 
offer because you're still healing your heart right now. And you're trying to avoid a disaster. Okay? Get it. I get it. Okay? Spirit is saying you're ascending. Transcending obstacles here, Taurus. Uh, learning expansion. New phase. Preparing for union. And that's what you're doing right now. Okay? Preparing yourself for union or for a new connection here, a new romantic partner to move into your life. And addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint here. We're going to clarify that a little bit. Okay, they're letting me know this may be a past person here that is still obsessed <laughs> obsessed with you, dear. Okay, who wouldn't be? You're Taurus. Um, <laughs> but, um, but I feel like you want healthier connections. You're not really focused on who's obsessed with you. You don't, you're not uh, falling for it or giving your energy over to it here. Okay, expect a call from someone here, though. I feel like this may be a past lover that may be calling you. You have love call here. Bring, bring. Someone expresses love, has a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know, yearning for you, wanting you back. Okay? Um, because they're heartbroken about a separation here. Okay? But you want to be someone that you can be with someone that you can have a real connection with. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. You have wedding ring, union, wedding, marry, soul, connection, um, an everlasting promise here. This person may call you and remind you here of the good times and the promises that you made to each other here and try to pull on those heartstrings. That's what I'm seeing here, Taurus, okay? Only you can decide on whether or not that is right for you. Um, but I feel like Spirit is saying there may be disaster if you pick up that phone. Pick up the phone. You go pick up that phone? I don't know. I don't I wouldn't want to fall out the building like that. Um that tower card just means like an awakening uh or a rude awakening here, okay? Someone had a rude rude awakening here. Your person may have had a rude awakening uh and did not notice how much they missed you and now uh they see that they they may have lost something here. Um, of significant um, importance to them here. You, right? One more card here for Taurus. Lightning here. So sudden change, shocking news, surprise. It may be a surprise to you how they open up and express themselves to you. Possibly they weren't doing that at first, especially with the Queen of Wands. Real stuck up <laughs> energy. Like, I don't need you. Go on here. I got options. I got I got people. Of course you do. We all got people. Okay, but you you ain't got Taurus. That's <laughs> I'm hyping y'all up. They don't have you, okay? Um, or they won't have you in the future here because you're going to be on something else. Healing yourself, okay? Uh, standing in a, um, a better place, a, a peaceful place here, okay? Because I see you definitely moving away in the future. Um, in the future energy here away from possibly this uh past person here they may call you want to connect with you want to come out and reach reach out or visit you some of you guys don't live by this person here taurus um or they live at a distance from you here they they may want to come out and see you here but i see you moving away because you you just want peace like this person's back is turned away from whoever this uh this past person is you're fine trying to find peace okay that's what i'm saying you do at this moment all right i usually close your reading off with <laughs> um another card but we're not going to do that today okay i think these cards are sufficient enough spirit is saying positive en energy surrounds you stay in that vibration stay in that energy love joy and good fortune awaits you and is coming here okay someone new is coming so embrace that thought and that energy and prepare yourself like this card is saying learning um expansion new phase preparing for a new union that's what you're doing here okay all right you guys that is your reading i appreciate each and every one of you coming back to watch your reading make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel okay join the family hit that notification bell loves because i will be back with you and i'll see you in the next reading taurus bye